some Thursday night football highlights. Yeah, yeah but really, didn't the NFL know that we had to live through enough of a tragedy on television this uh -huh. week not to put the Cleveland Browns on Thursday night football? I guess not. All right, let's go, because this one at least didn't cause any riots. The Baltimore Ravens gained sole possession of first place in the AFC North at the expense of the winless Browns. For even for the Browns, they have reached a historic low for the franchise. Joe Flacco for the Ravens threw three touchdowns, and the Ravens would cruise in the second half to a 28-7 victory. The Ravens are 5-4 and four on the seasons. Well, the Browns' record is currently... Zero point zero. That's right, Browns. You're the Delta house of the NFL right now. And there's a UFC fight this weekend with Conor McGregor, and the press conference was yesterday, so we'll just go ahead and show that, because Conor McGregor is fighting Eddie Alvarez this weekend at UFC 205 from New York City. McGregor showed up late, took Eddie's belt. McGregor grabbed the belt after, uh, or Eddie grabbed the belt when he walked in. Then Eddie throws a chair towards McGregor, and well, you know how this goes. It turns into a WWE match, and Connor picks up the chair and almost threw it at him. Later, Connor would say, I wonder how much a chair would cost me, because the last time he threw something, he got fined a couple hundred grand. The fight's this weekend. Guys? Woo, it's getting hot in here. That's kind of crazy stuff. All right, with me today is Veronica Fuentes. She works here at Studio D. Welcome so much for Thank being on the set here with us. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. All right, good. So shall we get started? Yes, of All course. right, okay. So while some celebrate the Trump victory, others are expressing what they fear is actually going to come ahead of this because of this. So Scary. some American Muslim 